everyone doing? I hope everybody is staying safe and well and happy. Today is very exciting because I'm going to be testing 5 minute crafts, hair and makeup hacks. So I think I've got a hack for pretty much every part of my makeup um, and I've got one hair hack which I'm going to try out first. If you don't know what 5 minute crafts are, basically they are a YouTube channel that does tons of hack DIY craft videos for all of your craft needs but quite often they are terrible hacks and some of them are I think it says they they do a lot of dangerous hacks which are very unsafe for people to actually do so so the first hack I have is a hair dyeing hack um, with food colouring and I'll pop the videos in and I'm going to rewatch them at the same time conditioner in a bowl and food colouring. That doesn't look like conditioner. It looks very bubbly, which looks like it might be shampoo. And on her hair it goes. Oh, oh goodness. She's going to have a purple... Oh my god. That is very purple. Okay. That is very dark for a food colouring dye. And she's got quite dark hair. Um, I have tried to dye my hair with box dyes before. But it is so dark that I'm not sure anything will happen. But I'm committed to the cause, so I'm going to give it a go. And I've always wanted ginger hair, and so I'm going to attempt to dye it orange. We've got Asda, yellow natural food colouring. We've got Asda, red natural food colouring. And we've got Garnier, ultimate blend conditioner. So I'm going to squeeze that into my mannequin. Oh. A lot of conditioner, and I'm not sure how much dye I'm meant to put in. Do some. Okay. Now they don't. I don't think she leaves it on her hair for very long. But I am gonna. I'll shampoo my hair. I'll put this in, and then I'll leave it there a couple of hours see what that does. I also do not have anything to use curlers with. Okay, it's quite a nice colour. I feel like I maybe need to go a bit darker because my hair is so dark. But let's put a bit more red in. Oh my god, if my hair actually came out this colour I'd be over the freaking moon. I remember going to a stage, I think maybe when I was like year nine of wanting bright red hair. I don't know if anybody watched Victorious on Nickelodeon. Um, and Ariana Grande was on it and she had bright red hair. I thought it was so cute. It never happened. So it's a really nice like coppery colour, can you see? Oh dang. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go shampoo my hair. I'm gonna put this on my head. And I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours um, and then I'll probably show you my hair when it's wet and then I'll blow dry it and make it look all nice and we shall see if I've got orange hair. See you in a bit. So this has been on for just under two hours. I can't say that it's going to work but I'm going to wash it off, dry my hair and then show you what it looks like. Okay so I've washed my hair and I feel very sad to say that I don't think anything's happened. I mean, I wasn't expecting a drastic colour change, but maybe like some copper tones might have been nice. But this is what I'm sort of dealing with wet. It looks literally exactly the same as it normally does. So I'm going to let it just dry off in the towel while I do the rest of my makeup for this video, and then I will blow dry it at the end to see if it's got, if it's done anything, if it's got a slight tint of colour, or if I just spent two hours with cling film on my head for no reason. I do think the nice thing about having a towel on your head is it really makes me feel like I've had Botox. <laughs> okay, the first hack that I have is, I believe, for dark under eyes, which I don't really have, um, partly due to the fact that it's, it's like nine o'clock at night so I'm not tired. I've not just woken up but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Oh 
before she's tired. Oh goodness. I feel like this hack has been around for a while. I can't say I've personally ever needed to do it. So is that well blended, excellent. Okay. Let's go. Um I've primed and moisturised and all things wonderful like that, so there we go. I feel like this is just making a problem when there, there wasn't really one there in the first place. But all in the name of science. Oh, and it, and it looks like I've got pink eye. Excellent. Off to a good start. Then, concealer on top. Also, from dyeing my hair with food colouring, my nails have gone yellow. Which... I can't say I'm best pleased about, but no one's going to see it because I'm locked inside my house for the next however long. I'm not really sure what brush to blend this out with, so I'm going to use uh, a big brush. I think she used a small one. I don't know where any of my small ones are right now. Okay, I mean that's not actually bad. I didn't really have dark circles and I definitely don't now. I feel like it could be a problem if you don't get the concealer close enough to your eye. It does make you look a bit like you've got an eye infection, which is never cute. But, hack number one. Fine, do you need to do it? No, would concealer work just as well? Probably. Hack number two is an eyebrow hack. Doo, doo, doo. Oh. oh god, I've slipped. Oh gosh darn it. Oh my god. Oh. A spoon. The shape she just drew with that spoon is not the shape that is now on her eyebrows. Okay, well I actually only have a fork in the bedroom right now. So I'm going to try to use this. So she'll actually like lines it up. Oh, oh. I thought maybe this could be, okay. That could be okay. Why is this so high up? So far above my natural eyebrow. Okay. And then what? Just fill that in? No. Oh, goodness me. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not good. I'm going to go do the other eye off camera and see if maybe that can... I don't like it Disney villain. Okay. So, I'm going to say no to that hack. I'm going to say probably don't do it. Let's move on. I'm just going to do my foundation quickly because there was not a foundation hack. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and do the next one. Okay, I am foundation and powdered. And you know what I said about the towel giving me the facelift? I feel like these brows might be doing it as well. Also, I'm aware that this foundation is maybe a couple of shades darker than my skin tone. But um, I usually have fake tan on all long sleeves. So I quite often fake tan my face and not the rest of my body because it's the winter and no one sees the rest of my body. 
Um, they're like, oh, I'm trying to touch them up and make them look better, but I don't think there's any hope. But moving on, we have contour, blush, and highlight all in one. Makeup, bitch. Excellent. Ooh, kitty whiskers. Okay, that didn't look great. Um, but I have. I don't have a cream contour. I do have a dark concealer, so I'll be using that. A highlighter and. This lip balm, which says you can also use it as a cheek tint. So which one? Highlighter on the top one. Confusing. Highlight. Blush. Sorry to put it all the way down the finger, I'm not sure it is. I mean, it's not really done anything, has it? Okay, let's repeat what we did last night. So. It's so unnecessary to have it all the way down the hand, because this bit, I can't even get that to touch my face. <laughs> Pretty. You know, I kind of get not wanting your friends to borrow your blusher, but I mean, at least be kind and let her just do one finger at a time, because this, I mean, I don't even really feel like it's done anything. So, that will get the no from me. Okay, the next one is another contour hat, and this is the nose contour. really necessary. I'm not sure that's a hack. This is like how to make your makeup more difficult. Okay. Again, the fork. Um, BRB. BRB. Do you remember MSM? Live, love, MSM. This is so hard to do by yourself as well. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't even get this to touch. I can't even get this to touch my nose through the fork. Right. Draw a straight line freehand, you certainly can't fucking do it with a fork in your hand. No way. And then send it out. One hour later. 
So, yes, the nose contour works. Do I advise using the fork? Also, I'm starting to think maybe the pink under the eye doesn't look as good as I thought it did. Like, especially here, I feel like it looks a bit like I've been punched in the eye. But moving on. Okay, so the next video has um, some concealer, lipstick and an eyeshadow sort of pack in it, but I'm only going to do the eyeshadow part of this. Mainly because there are any cotton buds in the flat. I just can't see, like especially the concealer, I can't see that staying moist on a cotton bud all day. Like, also paper cuts. Okay, so I've got a little piece of paper, which I have, um, I've bent the corners in because I'm very scared of like slicing my eyelid open from paper cuts. What I would like to look like is, if you've seen, which I imagine everyone has, because it seems to be all over my Facebook, the like Charlotte Tilbury adverts, where they have it's just like one colour shimmer all over the lid and they look stunning that's what that's what I want to come from this hack just I uh, shouldn't even blend it out with a brush okay I'm just going to put that on here problem is that if the eyeshadow goes all the way to the edge of the paper you do get a line um, so be aware that this is what this looks like after the five minute craft craft video and I'm just going to try and give it a little blend up make it a little bit more bearable I feel like that actually might be cheating a little bit and I should have left it but I can't bear the thought of Stefan walking in here and seeing me like this I feel like the eyebrows are horrific the next hack is an eyeliner hack for messy winter liner. Oh, a chew. Oh no. If you look really carefully, you can see that it's just two separate clips. She is not removing that with the tape. But alas, we shall try. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, not, not my finest hour. Um, I'm going to give her first to go. <laughs> There it is. Um, I'm just going to do my eyeliner on the other side and I will try the tape method on this side. Okay. There it is. I'll just put the tape on. Can't see. So. I'm scared that my eyelashes are just going to pull my eyelashes out. You see that bit in Mr. Bean's holiday? I feel like I actually have a film reference for every every single life scenario. Um, is it Mr. Bean's holiday? And he's sat in the car and he's trying to keep himself awake and he has like chop chopsticks? No, cocktail sticks. Holding his eyes open. And I feel like he has tape on them as well. I don't know why. This just made this just made me think of that. Okay. That is, I didn't think that was going to work at all. That has actually worked a little bit. I'm going to go again. I'm going to double tape. doesn't say to do that, but I'm going to try it. And see if we can get a nice slick wing from that. really not offended by that. I thought this was going to be really terrible. I mean the rest of it is really terrible. But the winged eyeliner is not bad. Next we have a um, mascara hack. And I think this is possibly one of the more ridiculous of the hacks in this video. Uh, and you will see why in just a moment. Oh 
Oh no, there's my flower all over your face. Pad eye patches. Do mascara. Now, this I feel like this is a very expensive hack. For anyone that doesn't know how expensive sanitary towels are, neither do I. But you probably don't want to use one every time you do your mascara. So here we go. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to stick it under my eyes and see if it helps me out. I will just do my top lashes first before I stick sanitary towels to my face. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna cut off, I think she only has like the little ends bit. Does she cut them curved? Okay. These are huge. I have a small pea head, but these look giant. Oh no. I've not got much sticky on this pen. <laughs> okay. This is like world's shittest superhero. I feel like this is what it would look like. <laughs> like fibres in my lashes. Mm. Okay, just gonna let them dry for a second. Okay. Alright. Yes, it, it, it kind of works for not getting it on your skin, but it also pulls off a tiny bit of foundation and also you have to stick a sanitary towel to your face, so is it worth it? Probably not. Um, okay, the next hack is it's a little scary. And it is a it is a lip hack. So she's saying, no, absolutely do not put your eyelash glue on your lashes. Put it on your tash and stick your lip to your upper lip to your what's this? I think this is actually called your filtrum. If anyone cared, I remember thinking that was absolutely hilarious as a child, so pass that on, do with that what you will. So we're going to take a little bit of eyelash glue and, uh, okay. I feel like it's just going to come unstuck, like, as soon as I take my hand off it. <laughs> I mean... No. Oh, but to be honest, my eyelash glue rarely holds my eyelashes on, let alone my upper lip. Oh, I've got glue in my my mustache hairs. Um, okay. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the face, so I'm just gonna dry my hair. And we'll see. Let's have a look at the overall picture. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, so my hair is pretty much dry now and it's not ginger so yeah probably don't spend your time um, trying to dye your hair with food colouring because it doesn't work. Maybe if you've got lighter hair it might work and I will say my hair does feel very soft after a two hour condition. Um, so I'm going to take this off now. I do have a final hack, which I am probably the most excited for. And you will see why. And you will be excited too. I can just tell. I can feel it in my bones. If this doesn't excite you, then that's a shame. My 
instead of water, onto your cotton pad, into some bubbles, onto the face. She doesn't look like she's really got any makeup on, so but we'll see if it'll take this off if I just wipe myself with my sanna bottle. Exciting. <laughs> Put it on your mouth and blow. I'm gonna go again because I'm desperate. I'm just gonna actually dab my face dry with this vanity towel because it's not getting used for anything else. I'm gonna go again. Oh my goodness. And then. That, that was worth it. Oh. I'm going to be honest and say it's probably not that hygienic, like spitting into a cotton pad and putting it on your face. But, honestly, the novelty of that, it was worth being a bit unhygienic. And again, I'm just going to dab myself dry with this fancy towel and then I'll say bye. Do you know what, actually I'll take it off and then I'll say bye. Okay, to conclude, do I recommend using 5 Minute Craft to update your beauty or your makeup routine? No, absolutely not. Do I recommend watching them for a laugh every now and again? Yes. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to subscribe, that would really help me out. And like this video. If you don't want to, no worries. I will see you. I don't know when I see you. Okay, see you later.